Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Arsenio BJJ and we are bringing you another BJJ breakdown video, this time featuring third degree black belt, Lucas Rocha, owner of Logic BJJ and my professor. So I wanted to get a roll in with him because he is the head coach. Uh, the TLDR is that I get completely annihilated, but there are a few takeaways and are a few techniques that I was able to implement into this role that I'm going to be working on because uh, they were semi-successful. So with all those plugs out of the way, let's get into the video. So here we are, we're going to slap bump and I'm going to immediately start taking a stance where I can open up those lapels. As you can see here, I'm going to grab, open up that left, the, uh, that right lapel and he's going to go for a fake ankle pick to De La Hiva. Now, the reason it takes me a second to figure out what to do here is because he's playing De La Hiva on the opposite side. A lot of people actually play De La Hiva on the other side against me and um, it takes me a second to figure out what I want to do. But what I want to do is strip that grip right there on my pant that he had and I try to step out and step back in. I think about going for an esteem lock because that lasso leg is over and close to my belly button but i decide uh, i'm not going to get that especially on someone his level so what i want to do is stuff that leg and try to um uh work on passing but he gets me in a close guard and i'm slowing it down right here because he grabs my pant leg uses his left leg over the top to uh basically keep weight on me and then gets the arm bar transition in the roll right here as you can see he's going to bring his left leg over the top of my head but my, luckily for me my elbow was well past the hip line so i'm able to escape but that's that's one of the reasons i really really love close guard because all the sweep attempts you can get you can also set up uh, attacking and submission attempts and he did a very good job right there of um almost <laughs> ending the match or ending that part of the role right then and there so here i'm trying to get into an x passing position but he does a good job of keeping his left arm tied to my leg and he gets up for a single so i know he's going to want to take me down so what i'm trying to do is uh, keep a grip on his right arm with my left arm and uh, basically keep my balance. I wanna keep my foot on the outside here so he can't uh, take me down. I'm doing a good job of hopping on my foot, keeping it, keeping square to him. I try to angle my foot out, but I'm not able to do it. So right here, I get my foot to the ground and I try to step to the outside. Right here, my right foot is still too far forward and he's gonna grab that up. Now I know he's gonna to wanna to cut the angle, so I'm slowing it down here because I'm going to preemptively go to the ground right here. I go to my hand, go to my knee, and then stand back up and I try to square up with him, but I'm not able to, and I expose part of my back, which allows him to lift me up and take me down for the takedown points so I knew that the single leg was coming and I knew he was gonna cut the angle that way so I tried to be preemptive and do it myself and try to square up but I left my back too exposed and he gets the takedown right there so here I'm trying to work to make sure he doesn't get any hooks in I'm trying to work on the grip that he has on uh, my midsection right here and I'm trying to strip that grip and stop him from using his gable grip to um, hold me in position so I'm on my knees right here I'm trying to work uh, against the hands <laughs> unsuccessfully as you can see he tries to get a hook in but I make that elbow knee connection to stop that hook from coming in and uh, I'm still playing the turtle position I'm trying to wait for my opening uh, right here I'm posting my hands and I know that he's behind me so I'm not really worried about the choke I know he's trying to take the back right here he almost gets a crucifix position but I bring my my arm in and right here he starts to take the back and I immediately start to get my shoulders to the to the mat now there was an opportunity here i believe for like a um, a groin stretch uh submission or something like that but uh he didn't he didn't go for it uh thankfully for me so here he tries to get my leg again but i step it to the outside and right here he goes for that fake ankle pick to guard pull and immediately i start stuffing the leg which is what i wanted to do from the beginning now i'm in a dominant position that i want to uh, start to pass but um as you can see here i'm trying to basically get my head and shoulders down and right here i think i'm going to be in an over under position uh he he knocks me to the side using that lasso grip uh that's something i probably need to address and right here i go for the over under but he gets the loop choke right there i wanted to slow it down so you could see and he actually gets me to tap so before i could get my head in um he got me in a loop choke and i just wanted to slow it down so you guys can see how subtle that movement was that's something i'm going to uh bring up in the takeaways so right here i start to i sit to guard and i start to play single leg x and uh get uh feed the lapel under his leg under my leg and um to my opposite hand so right here this is the the anubis guard the ganon lang um position right here so i start to sweep him and i think i'm going to try to go for an uh, a knee bar right here but his foot isn't in the right proper position for it he starts to pull on my pants to stop me from uh hyper extending the knee 
and then he rolls back i'm still in the single leg x position with the with the lapel so i'm in a very good spot still uh, but what he's going to do right here is he's, he's going to stand up and i lose the lapel uh momentarily uh, i get back into my x position but what you can't see what you're going to be able to see is that he's using his left hand to stop me from uh controlling that uh that lapel so i can no longer feed it uh under my leg and under his leg to set up the anubis guard position so what i decide to do here is i know that i can't get it so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna take my left leg i'm gonna slow it down here i'll take my left leg and i try to feed it in between right there to get the x guard position he immediately notices that he's gonna back step out of the entire position and then pass the guard so i lost the single leg x and i lost the full x because of the back step i wasn't able to feed my leg in there he's going to try to go for a neon belly he's stopping me from rolling away and rolling into him and that ladies and gentlemen is actually going to be the end of the roll so ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the roll i hope you guys enjoyed watching me roll with my professor who is a three stripe black belt who also gave gabriel souza his black belt and um i'm actually working on the video that i have with gabriel souza some nogi so that's coming to the channel as well so a few takeaways here when i was in the over under position i needed to dive my head right away that loop choke which i didn't even see coming uh is always going to be there so i need to keep my head low and dive it to the opposite hip to stop them from being able to set up that loop choke that was something that was very very sneaky that was actually one of the first times i've ever been submitted that way from the over under so that's something i need to work on as well and then um also just posture with the close guard uh he, he did a very good job of using that flower sweep to set up an arm bar attempt right there and uh just dealing with lasso in general i i kind of lack um defenses for the lasso i kind of don't take it seriously i kind of still try to pass but obviously he was able to use it to stop a bunch of my passing uh techniques so those are the takeaways ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for watching i hope you have an amazing day and i will catch you on the next one peace